Now, I, I did see this news a bit earlier, but I also saw a nap in my immediate future, so I decided to go with the nap first. Uh, but anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's St. Graven here with another video. And Nick Boyle, he's like officially, officially back uh, because he um, they activated him to the active roster now. So he's there and he is eligible to play uh, this Thursday in Miami. Uh, and, and just starting off with Nick Boyle, we'll talk about the other moves that the Ravens made too. But starting off with Nick Boyle, um, he is somebody that we saw, we've seen the Ravens run game struggle this year. Even though they're still one of the top rushing teams, it's still been a struggle. Like if you look at the, even if you do look at the box score, you look at the numbers, you can still see the struggle. One of the biggest reasons that the Ravens still remain one of the best rushing teams, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, he has literally had to do a lot of work. <laughs> A lot of extra work, especially this season, uh, to just propel this team to victory and just to, to carry this team. And obviously he gets help from other people, too. But Lamar has had to do a lot extra. And a lot of that extra comes in the run game. Um, the offensive line breaks down. Lamar got to take off. They also have some design runs for Lamar here and there and whatnot. But anyway, uh, and, and of course, Le'Veon Bell, he's been getting his a little bit. Uh, Devontae Freeman, he's been doing all right overall. Uh, obviously, yesterday was a good game for him, and it was a good game for Bill. And then, of course, we've had Latavius Murray as well. Um, Tyson Williams, y'all already know the story with him. Uh, Ravens, like I said earlier, they're, they're done with him, as we all know. Um, but our run game has struggled. Our offensive line has struggled. Ravens have had to use different concepts, different personnel, different packages, uh, in order to just make an attempt to get some kind of protection uh, for Lamar Jackson um, in the pass game and, and get some kind of just push uh, in the run game. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but Nick Boyle, he's somebody that can help make it work. He's somebody that can help make it better. Am I saying that he's going to be the end-all, be-all to our offensive line woes? No, of course not. I mean, I, I wish he would be. But we can't expect that, especially him coming off injury. We don't know how much workload is going to be put on him. Uh, and I expect it to be a gradual process. But at the same time, I expected with Rashad Bateman when he came in, I expected it to be a gradual process with him. But they threw everything at him. Uh, and that was a rookie. So with Nick Boyle, who knows? Who knows? But he will be a nice boost for the Ravens in the right direction. So it's a good thing that he's back and like officially all the way back. To where he's on the active roster now. Um, somebody else, Ben Cleveland. They designated him to return. They, they, they put him on. So he's off of injured reserve. He's not on the active roster. But he's off of injured reserve. So he can start practicing now. So giving a nice boost to the interior of that offensive line. That will go a long way. Because um, I, I remember just seeing yesterday, and it obviously wasn't all game, all game, because this play stuck out to me. But there was one play where man, Ben Powers just got tossed to the side, like like the defensive lineman was like, "Move, man, get out of the way! I got I got a quarterback to get to." I forgot what play it was, but he just moved him to the side, and I was just like, "Ooh, yikes!" Um, but with Ben Cleveland coming back, I don't know if the Ravens are gonna do that. That silly rotation thing that they were doing before, I, I I didn't understand why they were doing that. That was like so weird to me, man. That's that was super weird and just super like I don't know. But I, I'm not a coach, so hey, it is what it is. Um, but the the more offensive linemen you have, especially the more offensive linemen that you have that you planned on having, the better. Cause a lot of the players that are on the Ravens roster right now, they didn't plan on having them there, so. If we know how injuries have been this year uh, Another move that they made They signed Jordan Richards To the practice squad And when it comes to spe some special teams Players um, These Ravens boy they will They will have you going through it They will have you going through it They will test your patience As a, a, a business As a uh, What's the word I'm looking for just as a football player, they, they will test it because they'll sign you, they'll cut you. They'll sign you back, they'll cut you again. They'll re-sign you, they'll cut you again. And you'll be doing all this back forth, this flip-flopping. Um, but when they do that, if they're doing that with you, they definitely really value you as a special teamer. Um, so Jordan Richards is back. He does have one call-up left to the active roster. So he can be called up on game day 
one more time uh, before Ravens either, either had to put him on the active roster or release him and hope he clears waivers if they wanted to put him back on the practice squad. So that's that with Jordan Richards. We'll see what happens with him. Now, um, another thing. Deshaun Elliott, they officially put him on injury reserve. And like it was confirmed yesterday, that's the end of his season. That's a wrap. He ain't playing no more this year. He is done with the what torn pec and torn bicep injury. So it's an unfortunate situation for Deshaun Elliott. Um, it's tough for him. It's a really big blow. It's a big blow to him himself. It's a big blow to Ravens team, their defense. Uh, and just really the energy too, because Deshaun Elliott, he like he was he was out there, and he was doing his thing. Was he getting a bunch of interceptions? No, but it was nice that he finally got his first interception this year. This has been like a, a year of highs and a year of lows uh, with Deshaun Elliott, and this is of course the ultimate low when when your season is over and you can't do anything about it. I know my guy Cam mentioned in the previous video uh, that just her, oh, Deshaun mental, his mentals that that's that's super important. That he take care of his mentals because when you like this is your career and you're at a, a pinnacle in your career yeah you're at this this, this 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 turning point in your career where it's like all right i finally i played my first season for the first time last year it's like all right let's go i did it finally got that monkey off my back now all right i'm in the final year of my my deal all right this is my fourth year final year of my deal yeah, they asked me about the contract talks a couple months ago. And I said, hey, I'm just trying to get a Super Bowl. The contract will take care of itself, which I know that it will. But at the same time, I still want to show that, hey, pay me. Whether it's going to be from the Ravens or whether it's going to be from another team in the NFL, I want them to know that they should pay me. So let me just go out and give my all, my everything, and show the Ravens and the whole NFL, let me put them all on notice. Especially because I'm, I'm trying to cash in like this. I love football and everything, but it is a business. I'm trying to get my bread. I'm trying to get my money. I'm trying to establish my legacy. I'm trying to do all this and all that. And then boom, all comes crashing down. All comes crashing down and, and, and your season is over like that. And the thing is, you've you just been back for the past couple of games. Because you had a little temporary scare, but it was you was only out a couple of games. So that was good. But now. You're out for the rest of the games. No matter how good the Ravens do, no matter how bad the Ravens do, you cannot contribute to that at all. And that's pain right there. That's pain. Because, again, it's pain that you, you can't do anything about. You just got to sit back and watch. Just sit back and wait. Like, imagine if, if, if you had a job that you loved. And in your job, you were a big contributor to whatever it is that you were doing. But then all of a sudden, it got taken from you. You couldn't do anything but sit sit back and wait. You just had to wait and watch as, as the company does whatever they do, but they move on without you. They're thinking about you, and you know they love you, and they appreciate you, but they're still moving forward without you. That's tough. That's a tough blow. So hopefully with Deshaun, again, his, his mental state will be good, man. Really all those guys, Marcus Peters, Gus Edwards, J.K. Dobbins. It's nice. It was really nice seeing them um, a couple weeks ago for the team photo. That was really cool. You could tell J.K. J.K. been like, man, I'm at the crib. I'm dealing with this ACL injury. I'm, I'm relaxing. I'm letting it all hang out. This dude got the, the, the full beard and whatnot, the little patchy beard and whatnot. And uh, it was, definitely wasn't team keep it clean. Uh, but, hey, he be, he had, he been at the crib. Um, but it was nice seeing him. It was nice seeing uh, Marcus Peters out there. Man, it was just nice seeing all the the guys together. But then it brought up that pain, like man, all the guys were supposed to be together, but they're not. They're not. Injuries just derailed. Not they didn't derail this season, but they derailed the team. They derailed the team big time. And and you just think, you just you just wonder, like. It's, it's a very tricky thing to think about because initially you think, oh, man, this team would have been so much better if they had all these guys, man. They would have been so much better. But then you wonder, like, how would the coaching have been if they did have their full squad? Would they have had the mentality like, all right, hey, we better than that team over there. We're going to take care of these dudes. And, and would they have not put in as much work and have the injuries forced the coaching staff and, and the players have, have, have forced them to put in extra work? 
going into each week because they know they have some deficiencies at some different positions. It's just something that you think about. So, but they're six and two. The team is six and two. Uh, they've been doing a, a great job again, despite everything, despite everybody being hurt, despite everybody being out. So, it says a lot about the team. Says a lot about the players. Says a lot about the staff. Says a lot about the front office. Says a lot about everybody, especially Lamar, who deserves that blank check. Still, still waiting on it. Still waiting on that blank check. Like, and Ra- Ravens have every reason to pay him like like yesterday like last week like last month like last year they got every reason to pay him that there, there's absolutely nothing there's nothing there's n- no reason there, there's no, nothing that should be holding the ravens back from paying lamar nothing nothing so his money has been earned it's been earned a long time ago even before he even stepped foot on the football field this year. But every single game, every single snap, every single play, every single throw, every single run, his value goes up. Every single one, his value goes up. So, man, when he gets paid, it is going to be crazy because it is going to be an insane deal. But guess what? He earned it. 